Hello guys, I am Izrao and this is Cognitive Gameplay. Today we are going to talk about scientific reasoning. To explain scientific reasoning, I need to start by explaining what a hypothesis is. A hypothesis is a temporary explanation or an educated guess you make about causes of an event you observe. In principle, scientific reasoning can be defined in psychological terms as hypothetical deductive in nature, which means that scientific reasoning consists on observing an event, making hypotheses about its causes, test the hypothesis using experiments, and extract general rules about the causes of the event. Let's make an example. Suppose you are growing a garden and you notice that some of the plants are growing faster than others, and you want to know why. So you start looking at the plants and you see that the plants that are growing slow are under the shadow of a tree. Then you get a provisional explanation, which is what we call hypothesis, and you think that the light the plants get is helping them to grow faster. So you make an experiment and cut the branch of the tree that is giving shadow to the plants. And after a few days of watching your plants, you find that the slow growing plants are almost as tall as the plants that were growing fast proving that the light was actually influencing the plants growing in your garden. But things become a little bit more difficult. I hope you're ready to take an extra challenge. The problem is that the goal of making and testing hypotheses is not to prove your provisional explanation to be true, but to understand how it works. In other words, you make experiments to see if your explanation is true or false, and if there are specific situations where your explanation is true or specific situations where your explanation is false. Let's make another example. Imagine the problem mentioned before about the plants. And imagine that after you cut the branch of the tree giving shadow to some of your plants, your slow growing plants continue growing slowly. Then your hypothesis or provisional explanation is wrong. You don't have to fear about this. This is called falsification and it is the process of proving that your initial explanation was wrong. So you need to create yet more explanations about why some of your plants are growing faster than the others. And of course, making more experiments to try to find which is the correct explanation. These explanations are called alternative hypotheses. Now, let's talk about video games. Although many different games foster scientific reasoning, I will focus my example on real-time strategy games. Examples of these games are Age of Empires, StarCraft II, or Warcraft III. To keep it very basic, these games require you to build structures where you can produce certain types of units. Also, the units have a rock-paper-scissor relationship. So, for example, the pikemen overpower the chivalry, and the chivalry overpowers the swordmen, and the swordmen overpower the archers, and so on. When you are playing these games, the first thing you do is to send an explorer to discover the map and to find where your enemies are and which buildings they have. When you have this information, you start making hypotheses about which kind of units will they produce and which strategy they are aiming for. Normally, an experienced player will keep on falsifying their hypotheses. In other words, they keep exploring, getting new information about the enemy, and creating new provisional explanations with this information. Doing this allows the player to defend from an attack or to create a counter strategy. Believe it or not, scientific reasoning and strategy making are very close to each other, but we will talk about that in a different video. I hope you found this video useful, and if you like it, please remember to subscribe and to share it with your friends. Have a nice day.